ask me who, what did you oh, ask Oh, so, so what happened yesterday? So I got what I wanted because I, I would not take no for an answer to get my rapid COVID test. And then, you know what, there's a girl that took that test in that clinic. She gave me the name of it, but I got something in Carmen from Eric first. And then I was going to go get information, but I started asking at the public health and the girl that was there that was helping me, we became, I became really good friends with lots of people. And um, she goes, oh yeah, they do have it, Carmen. She goes, St. Augustine, I got tested for COVID positive in June 2020. And she went a few times, so she told me to go there. Her, and that's all the evidence I need because most people, she's a local, she went there. And she gave me the exact name. There's only one Augustine. And how much did she have to pay? She said it should be around 3500 but she doesn't know. She probably paid a little bit less, but no more than 5000 5000 you know, up in Cebu was a fair price. Mm. But I'm tired. I don't want to go back and forth, back and forth. So um, since Eric gave me that information, I was like, okay, or Leolan, Leolan. But I can go there, but I went to Carmen. And and I got that 333 330 but I knew they're going to, I didn't think it was going to be that hard to get. But that's the last thing I wanted. I go, I'm not going to go tomorrow. So, um, and the guys tried to intimidate me. Blah, blah, blah. No, no. Did you see? No, it's not in my vocabulary. Don't, don't give me rules and regulations. I work for the county. Sometimes you have to go outside the rules and regulations. But they go, oh, we don't do blood tests. When I went in, it's a, hello, I was pre-med in college. Um, herpetology, hepatology. Center, um, I can't remember. Microbiology, they had microscopes. They don't do blood work. Fuck that. I'm not stupid. And I read all the signs. But I didn't have my cell phone to record all the names because they're going to get in trouble because they're having the workers lie for them. So I didn't want to go ballistic on the workers. But they're trying to intimidate me when it's closing time. Well, that's nice. Oh, you know what? And the bathroom was filthy. The water didn't work. No spray, no soap in that clinic. And I, I can wow. get it shut down because I had to use the restroom. I even told them, you have hand spray outside with the bathroom I used. Um, you know, they had like that cup thing, but they have no soap. It's filthy. Um, oh, but when it was closing time, you know, I respect that. They got, they, I was reading the thing. They got scared. You knew they got scared. But and they go, please, ma'am, can you leave? I go, I'll leave when it's closing time. But I left a little bit early, but I sat outside. So I go, I told the police woman. Rosalie, I go, I'm going to sleep here. And she says, why do you have to sleep here? She goes, can't you? She tried to make me go back to the boat. And I go, if you want to arrest me, just let me know. I'm not doing anything illegal. And she goes, we don't want to arrest you. I go, I'll sleep in jail. Just release me the next morning. So nobody wanted to arrest me. But anyways, when I came back, um, and I, they incensed me because they're trying to close the four guys. No, sweet guys, but like, don't intimidate me. Um, they're like, you have to leave. I'm like, no. I go, are you going to forcefully, they go, this is private property. And I go, are you forcefully, forcefully going to eject me? You can. And, and, I, and I looked at them. I had that look. I'm going to attack them. I go, if you touch me, yeah, I got a little bit angry. I'm going to attack you. No, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. So they all, you know, got outside the gate. I would. Like, hello. Even the cops said legally it's private property, but it wasn't locked. It wasn't locked when they let me in. Later, when I came back in, the door was open. So, yeah, I did jump the gate. But then I looked, and the gate wasn't, oh, the gate wasn't even closed. It wasn't locked. I just didn't notice. So, was, anyways, I need to calm down. I need to relax. Mm. But, Vic, V for Vietnam and victory. So, where's the police escort come from? Oh, I got two police escorts. So, when, um, uh, oh. No, you said they're going to escort you to the airport. Oh, well, Ken said that it's either going to be police, the ambulance, or some government. I go, yeah, if it's free, I'm not paying for it because they want to make sure I get to the airport. So I go, yeah. And then later, Sharon Pete goes, we want to go hmm. free. So we're all going to get a free ride. Is that Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. I want to leave. But then I hope they let people sleep at the airport. I don't know how that works. I need to work, talk to the Turkish Airlines people because when I book my ticket, so people go, if I... Cause Turkey is only a layover for me. Um, I was supposed to go to Miami, but that's a long story. Um, but I could just pretend I missed the thing and then go. I have my visa. It's been approved. Mm. I have couch surfing all set up. 
And I mean, the guys go, if you want to um, stay here. So, time, what time tomorrow? Have you booked the police or do they... No, that's why we didn't... Yeah, we how, do, how do they know when I, you're going to leave? Oh, we were talking about it. They, they're in contact with Sherry. So hopefully I go, I asked Cece, I go, I'm not really sure who's going to show up and what, but to make sure, I go, if they don't, can you take me to the airport? Or, you know, I have too much stuff to take the bus. Um, but I, but he made me, that's one of the provisions for me leaving the clinic is that I get my test and he had provisions for me. Hmm. And he goes, take it at the hospital. I go, no fucking way. I don't be exposed in the hospital. I go, I'm not going to the hospital. I go, you take your stuff here. You give it to me. It took five minutes for him to prick my hand. Yeah. 15 minutes to tell me I'm negative. And then he even goes, obviously you're negative because I have so much energy. So CC's the backup transport. Yes. And if not, I can call John Ray. But uh, you've got to get him the minimum the day before. Don't worry. Things happen. And worst comes to worst, I can hitchhike. I'm sure someone... Will With all that luggage, catch a bus. Well, anyways, I'm not. I'm gonna make plans. I'm gonna okay. worry about the mo present, um, and um, it was really fun. I mooned the cops because after hours of her talking to me, oh, she escorted me to the. Um, the only reason why I went back to the boat, I didn't go to the boat, is um, my my driver who drove me around all day, made me coffees, bought me water, um, because I ran out of money. Um, he's like, I need to go home, ma'am. I need. Um, I don't have gas money. I felt really bad. And um, so I go, oh, I don't have any money. And I looked around. I go, well, anyone lend me any money? Because I'm good for it. But everybody looked away. And even hmm. the cops wouldn't lend him money. So I'm like, okay. I go, really? I'm going to have, because they just want me back to the boat to sleep. She goes, oh, you need to sleep. And I go, fine. Oh, he could have, um, I go, you want me to walk back? I'm fine. Uh, and the police go, we take you back. They're so happy when I go, okay, I'll agree to go to the boat to get money. But when they drove me, before they turned to dry dock, I go, stop, and chai, I'm starving. So I go, you drop me off here. I go, I'm hungry, and then I'll go back to the boat. And then me and Christopher, he drank a little, um, drink, drink, uh, not drinks, but soda. And I ate food, so oh, I owe that woman across the street money. I'm 200, 300 pesos. And then I decided to go back. So I'm, like, I, I, I'm now refreshed. I don't need to go back to the boat because I told Christopher, do you trust me? Oh! I owe Lynette, Annette two thousand dollars. She's the only one that had money to lend me. So I, had, yeah, the egg woman and mm -hmm. yeah. So I owe her. Thank God for friends. She doesn't really know. Oh, I buy stuff from them. So she. So you had already given away the four thousand. Yes. It's a pity because then you could have given to the driver. Of course, but I was giving money away like a lotto. Um. That's a fun story, but to move on, um, no, so she let me 2000 and since Christopher did such great work all day for me, I gave him the whole 2000 because he deserved it. And, oh, oh, and he made uh, provisions with me. If I didn't get the test done, um, if I, um, but I knew I was going to, I go, come back here for me tomorrow because I'm going to sleep here, and we go to Leolan. So that's why I paid him if I did that, so now we don't have to go. And he was... Highly compensated because he trusted me. But he looked really worried a lot. It looked like he had tears in his eyes. But I go, Christopher, do you trust me? And he goes, I do, I do. So, but you know, most people don't see people acting all crazy like this. Um, and I wasn't even that crazy. I didn't even raise my voice that much. It was just like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no more negotiations. I'm done. Um, even Pete goes, he didn't think it was going to happen. Because I was going to take my clothes off hours before. But they kept saying, oh. And when I got back. They said something to me, and I go, where, I go, they're trying to like intimidate me or blah, blah, blah. And I go, you know what? I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to report this place. And I didn't have battery life. So I go, someone call the cops for me. Even um, Rosalie gave me the phone number. I go, someone call the cops for me. They were not. They looked away. I go, you call the cops. I'm asking you to. I go outside the streets. I go, someone please help me. I need you to call the cops. Not that nothing's going on. I just need the cops to mediate. Because I was going to beat those guys up if they kept going, ah. like, don't talk shit to me. Oh, they weren't really talking shit, but just like, rules and regulations, ma'am. Hello, I work for the county. Rules and regulations, the California it's bureaucracy in the system. I know how they tried to make you crazy. But I'm already crazy, so it doesn't, um. So, 
Nobody would help me. Even this man with this big, beautiful dog, meaning he has money. He has no, I don't know where the, where the cops are. I don't know. Hello, Carmen. Pe it's not that big. But the younger people were scared, of course, so I don't blame them. That's why I didn't freak out on them. So I'm going, fine, I'll walk to the cops. Eventually, someone's going to have to show me where the cops are. You know, so little things like this just outrage me. Um, so, I got a sign. Guess who I saw? Pete! When I saw him, I go, Pete, come here. I go, you need to help me. He goes, what? I go, I just need you to call the cops for me. He didn't have his cell phone. And so he goes, don't worry. I'll, I'll find, I go, go get Rosalie. Because you know, she's the one that talked to me for hours. And then, so he did. Um, but it makes me sad that the people of the Philippines, it's not like, they're so happy and loving. It's like, they're scared of the government. Oh my gosh, and they, um, someone threatened Christopher, something about his family. He goes, I don't want to be arrested, Christine, on the way back. And I go, I go, who said that to you? But I, um, he didn't say. I go, you know what, Christopher, if you got, I will not let you get arrested. And you know that's true, Paul. Yeah, why not? Oh, okay, so that's a little bit of what happened.